Hey guys, John with Hillco here. I'm with Kurt, my dear father-in-law and genuine extractor engineer and electrical guru and all things. He's a huge help to me here with getting these extractors figured out and set up and programmed and he's just a flat out genius and we're really thankful to have him. So anyway, we're with one of our uh, Mega Max from the showroom here, which is actually where a lot of our testing and stuff ends up getting done on these extractors too. Um, so we have our Mega Max uh, 32 frame honey extractor sitting here. This is the same controller that we also use in the Super Max model, the 24 frame model. Um, so currently, these by default, these machines are set to where you just hit run and you control with the speed control knob. I kind of started off a little quick there, went too fast on the knob. But anyway, you can just control and run up and down with the speed control knob. But um, Dad has got a uh, program set up in these, uh, pro pre programmed into these machines that allows you to uh, just hit run and it will start off slow and run for a couple minutes or so at slower speed and then a couple minutes at each other speed and ramp up to full speed and run for about five minutes on full speed. So again, by default, they're set to where you just control with the knob, but Dad is going to show us here how to uh, control it, uh, how to allow it to do this automatic, uh, the automatic control. So go ahead, Dad. Um, you set you hit mode, and then you go to parameter four. Okay. So I have to go down there to four. Press enter. Okay, and that is set on two, which is uh, keyboard potentiometer. So it's set on two. It's set to control with the knob here, with right? The knob. Yep. Okay. And then we need for the simple PLC reference, we need to set it on seven. So we'll go up. To, we have to oh, we're stop, stop there. Here. Sorry, you have to go up to seven. So just a quick note there: that it always has to be stopped before you can do before any you can changing. Change any so settings, if, you, if yeah. you got it run and we turn it down, you have to hit the stop. This should be blinking. Okay, that should be yeah. blinking. So yeah. if it if you're trying if to if you're blinking, trying to do up and down and it won't move, it won't go then and hit not, stop. Then you yeah. get hit stop. Okay. okay. So then you got that on seven. Then you hit enter, and then go back to mode. Okay. And then it is ready to run the program. It's so that's about 20% power or close to it. If at 10 hertz there, so once you hit run, it's going to start going and run for as many minutes as it's programmed. I think most of them I got programmed for one minute on at 10 hertz. Okay. And then two minutes at 20 hertz. Two minutes at. Uh, Uh, 40 hertz I think I went to uh, okay basically set to where we you know where we think it's gonna be a good a good amount of time it's a 14 to slowly minute, ramp it 14 up 14 minute, 14 minute, minute program. program total so um, but that is tweakable that can obviously be, you too. can change that yeah yeah so dad's gonna show us here in the book so we, you should have this nice handy manual that covers the controller these are fairly complex controllers they got a lot of options and stuff so I enjoy reading this this manual but on page 113 is it 113 yeah 113 of your of your uh, controller manual shows you so there you would go to number three that's the first that's the first uh, speed there so number three okay. i've got set for 20 percent. so we would go to mode so go to mode okay and then you um uh toggle over here to that okay to, that arrow to that, key to where that first zero to is first blinking. Okay. blinking and set that to three okay and then just double check enter that and that should be a zero okay and then go to 3 1 and enter that, and that should also be zeros. Okay. And then 2 should also be two zeros. Mm -hmm. And then 3 is where you'll put your first time in. Again, it's on page 113 in the book. So you put enter, and I do have that set at 20. If that would be that would be zero if it hasn't been set. Okay. So you just set that to twenty, and then you go enter, and then it goes to four, which is the running time for that first speed. Okay. Phase zero running time. 
and that's set at 120, and I'm going to change it to 60. Because so the 20 that you just entered before is 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%, 20 power. Okay. Of, of the top speed. Total speed, okay. Yeah. So that was at 303, and now you're going to 304 here in the book, and now you're going to set the time at that speed okay. in seconds, right? Yes. That, that's, it's set at 120, and I'm going to change this one back to 60. Okay. So Am I in your way here? No, you're fine. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. but Yeah, I think so. So that's 60 seconds. Okay. So the first speed, which is 20%, is 60 is going to be run 60, at 60 seconds. seconds. Okay. okay. And then the second speed, which is going to be 40%. So that's 05. And it's actually 30. So I'm going to change that to 40 because I just found out I don't need to run that slow that long. We'll and if the. If, the arrow here. Yeah. Jog over there and I'll pop that up to 40. Enter that. And then six is the running time for phase one. Two minutes. And that's 120, two minutes, so I'm going to leave that. Enter. Okay, seven, which is the next running speed. So I already went 40, so I don't need 40 again. I'm going to change that one to 60. 60% power. 60% uh, speed. It's going to run for 60% of the speed. That. Actually, I'm going to run three minutes at that. Three minutes, okay. Where am I here? Enter, I think, right? Yeah. So that's two minutes, so I want to make that three minutes. 180 seconds. So I need to go okay. over, over, over. Okay. 180. Enter, so then uh, phase, phase two. That was phase two running time. We're on nine now. That's phase three running uh, speed. So we just set 60. 60 so we're going to go 80. 80%, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, arrow over. Enter there. So then 10 is the, the next... Uh, Time. Time. And that was going to be 180. So three minutes on that three too? Minutes, okay. Three minutes. I just ran. I, these are all, you can change these yeah. as as you would feel fit. But I just felt like it was, it could use a little more speed at those speeds. A little more time at those that speeds. Was just, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. just what I chose. So we'll yeah, jog that over. Jog then, it over. Okay. Here. Actually, we're saying jog, but just so you know, it's it's, it's, it's actually not, it's it's not the jog; it's the it's the arrows. Yeah. yeah. So you only one more. Yep. Okay. One more there. Okay, so this should be our hundred percent. Oh, it's eighty. Well, yeah, I dropped. I took one. I changed this to hundred, and then I took the last one out. Yeah. So this goes to one hundred. I went the wrong way. One hundred. 100, right? Yeah, you have the decimal point, yep. So 12 is, that's going to be 300. You get the phone your way, don't I? Three hundred, okay. And is that three? Is that three thousand? Was it? Let's it go was. back. Let's go back. Okay, you can go back then. Uh, Thirteen. I'm going to need to go back to twelve. Uh, enter. Yep, that's 3,000. That would be a long, be a long time. time. Your honey's okay. going to be extracted and filtered and bottled and everything by then. Well, oh, come on. Let's get this. The button's going to be a little finicky at times. Well, if you're not in the right... If you're not in the right, if you're not in the right no, if you're not in the right, you start pushing before you get on the right digit there. Oh, okay. So that one's zero, and I need to jog over there and do a three there. And there we're at 300 There's seconds. 300, enter. Okay. So now I've got to do get rid of 13 and 14 here, I think, because I think they're still entered. Yeah, we don't want to do it twice, so let's get rid of that. Okay, enter. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. And then once so then we're going to hit mode to get back yeah, out of there and we're ready to run. We're ready to run. Just hit run and she starts going. Okay. And it'll run for Should a run minute and 10. Minute. And then key, or well, it's actually 20% power showing the hertz, the electrical it's current 10, there. 10 hertz. Which is 20% power. 20%, so. Yeah. It'll keep ramping up and then stop after the after the program is run. So now hopefully you know how to change how to get in that program and how to tweak those settings if you need to and get it back. Um, just reverse the steps. So if you need to get back is all you need to do. I mean, if you need to stop it any time during the program, you just hit stop and it'll it'll stop. Yeah. And then when you start it over, it'll start it. Start at zero start again. Start at ten again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And unfortunately, you so, know, so when so if you want to go back to using the potentiometer, just hit mode and uh, go to number four. So we'll go to arrow, what did I just do? I think you were in 3014. Oh, okay, so you need to go clear back. I don't know why it went that way. But Show it before you, hang on. Okay, okay. There's, okay. Zero. there's zero, okay, now we go to one. four. Nope, I'm in the wrong. Yeah, the zeros, yeah. You gotta get clear over here. Can you tell we're not scripted in this video? Okay, four, okay. enter, and see, then we're at, that's on seven, and you need to get back, back that to back two. down to two. And enter and again. And then enter. So you don't have to change the program, you just have to change that to two. Uh, and then mode, back and, then, two. and then you're good to. And you're back to. Run it again with, uh, with the knob. So. Hope that helps. We're available to, for any questions. If you need something, give us a holler. Thanks.